Hello everybody! So today I will make this video how to make this polymer gel electrolyte which is here. So this solid state electrolyte is really awesome to make some flexible uh, flexible batteries or even supercapacitors. Uh, so this separator is really good uh, in batteries like some alkaline batteries instead of liquid electrolyte you can use this electrolyte to make some rechargeable alkaline batteries uh, also in nickel zinc battery you can use this one or in some type of supercapacitors so this polymer gel electrolyte is really awesome because like I said it's in solid form uh, but this electrolyte also can be dry but when is this electrolyte dry uh, you put only uh, in water and you get something like this and yeah this one is really awesome so like I said you can use and you can experiment in uh, batteries which you will use some alkaline bat uh, alkaline electrolyte so this separator is based on potassium hydroxide <coughs> and now I will show to you how to make this polymer gel separator so first of all you need some cup uh, which is filled with water 300 uh, milliliters and this this cup you need to put on some stirrer so here I have my magnetic stirrer and like I said I have here 300 milliliters of water I will put this magnet so we have 300 milliliters of water ready uh, on this magnetic stirrer uh, then we need some potassium hydroxide uh, and some PVA so this is pure PVA uh, but you can also use some wood glue if you like but better results you will get with pure PVA uh, this PVA you can also find uh, on eBay just search for PVA and you will find some stuff on eBay so first of all we will measure uh, the quantity of uh, potassium hydroxide we need 10 grams of potassium hydroxide nice so right now I have 10 grams of potassium hydroxide which I will put here I will start with a mixing And also we need 20 grams of PVA so we need 20 grams of PVA really nice <coughs> uh, 
I will add two times uh, of 10 milli, uh, 10 grams of pive. <coughs> And another 10 grams. Okay, perfect. So like I said, you add 10 grams of potassium hydroxide and 20 grams of PVA into 300 milliliters of water. And now you need to heat this solution to uh, 90 degrees C. Ninety to hundred degrees C, and now you need to leave like this uh, for some time. Uh, in my case, uh, I see here I have three hundred milliliters mark. Uh, when you stir this solution, the solution is a little bit above of three hundred milliliters of mark. Uh, I heat so long that the water will evaporate to almost 300 milliliters right now. So here is the 300 milliliters mark and here is the solution when it's steering. So I will just leave it like this on this hot plate so long that the entire PVA will dissolve. Uh, and also when everything is dissolved completely I will leave it a little bit longer that the water will evaporate a little bit and uh, the solution is ready to use. So it's almost ready so you see you will get this color uh, so like I said, you need to stir it on around uh, 90 uh, degrees C. And you need to be sure that all the PVA particles uh, are dissolved. So right now by, he by mirror I see some particles which are not completely dissolved so you need to stir a little bit longer so after this mix will be ready you put all this mix in some uh, in some this stuff I don't know how to say this in English and you leave it that you get some solid electrolyte like this one that's it so guys uh, I think this will be enough uh, make sure that all the PVA particles uh, are dissolved and that's it and now you need to put this mix in something like this <coughs> so I will make a really really tiny separator and now you need to leave it like this that the separator I mean the electrolyte will be in solid state like this one so guys when this electrolyte is dry you get this some polymer gel Electrolyte. 
now you need to only get out Sometimes is this a little bit hard to get this polymer out. Voila. And here you have some potassium hydroxide based polymer gel electrolyte. So right now what you need to do, you need to cut in your size of your battery and you will be fine with this one. But if this separator, I mean electrolyte, uh, gets too dry, just add a little bit of water and you will get like this again. Also, it's really, really tough. Yeah, almost. really nice okay guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye